Hello everyone, welcome to part two of the Bath & Body Works White Barn Candle Company Fall 2013 release of candles, the four collections, White Barn Woods, uh, what I call the Silverleaf Bath & Body Works collection, um, what would have been Slacken & Co. if he was still around, the Pumpkin Collection, and finally at the end there, Fresh Picked. So um, hopefully you saw the first video, which was a review of the Pumpkin Scents, and this next one here we'll be moving on to what may be my favorite, the what I refer to as the Bath & Body Works Silverleaf Collection. Um, it's also been referred to as the Sweater Weather Collection. Not sure if they'll call it that. Um, they certainly could because it's very much... Um, you know, sort of outdoorsy. So really interesting. This is sort of where the core, um, you know, fall sense that, you, that everyone knows and loves will sort of kind of reside. Um, there are currently 10 cents in the collection. You see six of them here. Um, in addition to the six here, Cider Donut, Tailgate, Sweater Weather, Applewood Bonfire, Autumn, and Marshmallow Fireside. Um, there also will be Autumn Day, Cider Lane, Leaves, and then also, um, I believe, Harvest Gathering, which was not in the store I went to. Um, I believe it is releasing now and is supposed to release wide. Um, I'll just quickly give you the notes on that. Are uh, They say, gather with the ones you love and enjoy the richness of autumn in this blend of red apple, cinnamon leaf, and tart cranberry. Um, my bet is on that being the failed test scent from last fall, Cranberry Harvest, which was, um, I believe it actually was very similar. It said cinnamon bark. Um, red apple peel and cranberry, so essentially the same three notes, um, harvest in the name, I would bet it's the same scent, uh, just, you know, renamed for, for 2013. Um, but let's dive into these ones. Um, there are a couple of scents that, you know, people sort of expected or hope would come back that doesn't look like they're coming um, that, that would have fit in this collection. Namely, the first one here that will go through... Um, sort of a lot of folks' favorite from the past two years was Cinnamon Sugar Donut. Um, I say all the time, you, you could hear of hearing it, that I'm really not a big bakery fan in, for the most part, but there are some that just can't be beat. Um, for me, that was last year's Cinnamon Sugar Donut. Um, smelling Cinnamon Sugar Donut, it really, it was somewhat light, but it really did just smell like you opened a box of, um, uh, you know, cake donuts, um, that were freshly <laughs> fried, like, you know, at an apple picking orchard or something, um, that, they, you know, they have the little machine and they, they have the little conveyor belt of uh, hot oil for the, the, the cake donuts, the, the apple donuts, um, that they then just, you know, throw the, the cinnamon sugar on. And it really just smelled authentically exactly like that's what you're smelling. Super impressive. Um, so this year, it looks like it was replaced by Cider Donut, which sounds... I thought maybe it would be even the same candle, um, just with a new, you know, new name and new label. The notes on it read, Indulge in the fragrance of a beloved baked treat with a blend of freshly picked apples, cake donut, and a hint of cinnamon. So basically the same idea, but sniffing it, it is not cinnamon sugar donut, which bums me out. Um, the reason it bums me out is because this, while this has the notes that you expect it to have, it has sort of, you can smell apple, you can smell that sort of generic bakery, you can smell sweetness, you can smell some cinnamon, it, it, it doesn't have that authenticity that Cinnamon Sugar Donut has. Uh, it, if you had someone smell this, you know, in a test phase without the label, they could call it, you know, warm apple cider, it could be a drink, it could be a food, it could be whatever, because the notes are, they're just sort of, not really basic, but they, you know, apple. It's not baked apple or an apple juice or, um, you know, little tiny bits of apple or, or applesauce or there's nothing to it that, that is really specific enough. So it's generic in that sense that you get the apple, you get the, that general sweet creamy bakeriness that isn't necessarily, you know, dough or cake or bread or whatever, it, or, you know, cream or frosting. It could kind of be any of those things. Now, the crazy thing, what I try to do in my videos a lot um, for folks who've been around for a while, is especially with these, you know, brand new scents or certainly with test scents, I try to compare them to um, candles that you may have smelled before. Um, oftentimes, they'll be failed test scents because they like to, you know, try new marketing on on old fragrances that they they've released in the past, um, or simply just you know um, past scents that might not be coming back that are similar to new scents. And the crazy thing with this one is it smells. Uh, now, I'm like not trusting my nose again, but 
there's something to this that smells oddly similar to last winter's test fragrance of sugar and spice. Now this was supposed to be a um, sort of a shortbread cookie. You can see it's a cookie covered in sugar. So okay, I, you know it's a bakery item covered in sugar. Cider donut is a bakery item covered in sugar. Um, the notes on sugar and spice were simply um, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, sugared maple um, to be you know combined to make a fragrance that's about the holidays. So they didn't say it was a candle, but you figure they it wouldn't surprise you if they threw threw maple into a cider donut or sugar or allspice or cinnamon. So um, they're not it's not a straight up dupe. I don't think of that. There is a little more apple to it, but it's pretty much the same formula. It's not as intensely sweet as sugar and spice, um, and there is a little bit of apple to it. You definitely get the apple when you smell it, but boy, if you have those two candles and smell, smell them side by side, once you get over the the idea that one was a Christmas holiday tradition candle and one is a fall candle, um, and you really compare them, they're quite similar, which is kind of strange, but interesting nonetheless. All right, so those two out of the way. Cider donut. So again, uh, it's I suppose it's worth buying, but it's a poor replacement for cinnamon sugar donut in my opinion. But there will be be people who love it if they never smelled, you know, cinnamon sugar donut. Next up, tailgate. So, I, at, when I first heard this, I was thinking, okay, is this you know Bath and Body Works answer to Yankees? man candles, which I think are just so stupid, you know, obviously, um, you know, candles and home fragrance are something that are primarily, um, you know, the consumers for that and the demographic are women, but certainly there are some men um, that enjoy them as well, and so I think it's just so silly to try to market, you know, the, the Yankee ones that were like, you know, man cave, and, you know, the label had a remote control on it, it's like, that's just typical, like, I, whatever. I don't want to get started with that. It, it, that could be, you know, a not 20 minute video on itself. Um, but anyway, tailgate, I heard that and I thought, oh boy, is this like their, you know, man candle? Um, which sure it is a little bit, but I mean, tailgating is something people do in the fall. Um, you know, it's a couple people playing a, a pickup game of football, you know, in a park and it's an outdoorsy scent. So I'm fine with it. It works. And I actually really like the, the really red rusty wax. Um, and it is, you know, a, a nice fall day. It looks like a, you know, an L.L. Bean or American Eagle <laughs> ad there. The notes on it are, capture all the fun of tailgating on a fall afternoon in a blend of rich hickory, football leather, and a touch of moss. Okay, so hickory is sort of a smoky wood, um, football leather, whatever, leather, um, and a touch of moss. Surprising how much moss comes in to make sort of a wet green, um, earthy note in a lot of candles. Um, and sniffing this, it's not nearly as heavy as one would expect. Um, it's definitely a daytime, like a late mar morning, a cool fall day. It almost has like a, a light, I don't want to say like a juniper, but almost like a really sweet berry. It reminds me a tiny bit of like um, Black Forest Woods from the Forest Collection of, you know, over a year ago. Um, some people are going to say it's, you know, cologne which I hate that word, again, you know, just because it's something that has notes in it that can be an immense perfume don't mean that it's cologne because every floral is not perfumey, so, but again, another rant <laughs> there. Um, it feels to me like there's almost a pop of some sort of brightness, like a, a citrus or a sweet wood or almost like a, a dark berry to it, um... There is the hickory, which gives it that sort of smokiness. The moss brings it down, makes it earthy. Not smoky in the traditional sense, but but a rich sort of, you know, sweetness. Uh, the leathery, a little bit of leather. I like this. I, I think people are going to be genuinely surprised by this. And I think it's going to be, I hope it'll be popular, because it is definitely interesting. Cologne, mm, a little, but um, well done for the most part, I, in my opinion. Moving along to one of my getting to be all-time favorites here, um, Sweater Weather. This was a Tessa in the White Barn collection last fall, and I fell in love with it. Um, such a great scent. It had wonderful burn, fantastic throw. Um, and this year, I really love the label. It's just, you know, um, a woman holding, you know, wearing a sweater and holding a pile of bright red leaves with, like, you know, that shiny embossed silver leaf, Sweater Weather. And the notes... Cuddle up with an aromatic blend of eucalyptus, juniper berry, and fresh sage that celebrates the arrival of sweater weather. Um, sign me up. I, right when I heard eucalyptus, juniper berries, and fresh sage, you know, that's right up my alley. 
And oh man, oh man, this is this is where Bath and Body Works really. Um, this is where they soar and where they keep me coming back because it is such a unique, strong, fresh, but heavy and cool, but makes you want to feel warm blend. It's just like, I would almost wear like a, a scaled down version of this as a fragrance, um, in the fall and winter. You get a, a strong hit of a true eucalyptus, but also very heavy on the juniper berry. Of course, juniper, um, I believe coniferous or, you know, pine family, um, it was heavy in, if anyone was around, for holly wreath, which was a holiday candle in 2010 and 2011, I believe. Um, had a lot of juniper. Oh, gosh, it's just, it's so cooling, but yeah, it's like very fresh. Um, it's not icy, it's not at all, you know, smoky or heavy. The sage, you don't exactly get like a true sage, but there's definitely a bright, heavy sort of, I don't want to say greenness, but there is a bit of an herb, um, but it really fights with the eucalyptus a lot, so you're not really getting just eucalyptus or just that. Um, I'm happy to say it's nothing like the eucalyptus mint candle or any of that test collection, you know, the, the one through eight eucalyptus mint and, you know, dot, dot, dot. Um, it's nothing like any of those. It's a more pure eucalyptus. It's really like a, a very nicely, evenly matched eucalyptus juniper, uh, and sage. So can't say enough great things about this. Um, this will definitely be a multiple purchase for me. Um, and it looks like it's not a test scent this year. It looks like it's going wide. So one to stock up on. Next up, we've got Applewood Bonfire. So hearing this one, it, you know, could have gone many different ways. We had, uh, last year we had Bonfire Maplewood, which, you know, Similar name, a little bit different. I thought maybe it would be a repackage of that. It's not, happy to say. I've got uh, the Bonfire Maplewood here so we can at least compare the scents. Um, applewood, a lot of like bacon is applewood smoke, so it's sort of a sweet, sweet wood um, that is used, um, you know, for smoking and, and, you know, for in food items and things like that. Um, just, you know, a fire, it looks like a fire pit in a, you know, cut off garbage can basically um, on the label there, just a dark brown wax. The notes on it are warm up to the cozy scent of an autumn bonfire, apples, crackling barks, and fresh cut wood. Um, so you're not, it's not smoldering wood. Um, you've got a bonfire, but it, you know, you're getting apples, you're getting barks that are, I guess, a, a fire, a flame, um, uh, a light, I don't know, uh, <laughs> fresh cut wood. Not a lot as far as telling us what kind of woods, but this is really nice. It is, oh, it just reminded me of something, I can't put my finger on it. Um, it's quite sweet, um, all things considered. There's a definite apple in there, which I didn't really think apple would. I, I mean, I suppose apple would maybe just the wood from an apple tree, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know, That's I'm a little bit ignorant for that if, if apple wood is a different kind of wood, uh, or maybe it is sweet, you know, like, 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 you know, an apple, but you've got that. And then I would almost say as far as the woods in this, it is the same type of note, much pared down as the classic, hopefully everyone loves, I think, um, uh, fireside candle, which I also have here to compare, um, you know, your classic fireside, which is not out yet. Hopefully it will be out for the winter because it's a must have. The notes on that one are cedarwood, leather, amber, um, crackling fire. So a lot of folks think fireside, marshmallow fireside again, which we'll get to, um, also has a bit of the traditional fireside scent to it. Um, applewood bonfire, more so than bonfire maplewood, has sort of that traditional um, fireside note to it. Again, much lighter and pared down than, than the intensity smokiness of the fireside. Now, Bonfire Maplewood had, to me, the notes on it are um, cracking fires, fig, cardamom, vanilla, and firewood. Um, I get the firewood in that. I think that what Applewood doesn't have that Bonfire did is sort of that sweet fig and cardamom really made it creamy in kind of a strange way. Like, you don't really mix creamy with um, fire or, or, you know, woodsy scents a whole lot. Um, and I like Applewood Bonfire for that reason that it got rid of the creaminess, stuck to more of the sweetness from Applewood. 
and it's just really nice. It's not, it's not super strong. Um, it not definitely not one that's gonna choke you out. Or if you don't like woozy scents, you can still like this one. Um, yeah, just a a small hint of the fireside, like even way less than you'd get in a marshmallow fireside. Um, it's bonfire. It's you know the fire burning of the wood, not necessarily you know the woods themselves, super super intensely. So. Again, a little hard to explain, but like a little, a little fireside, but super sweet. Um, almost a tiny bit cloying, but not to the point of being annoying. So really enjoy that one, um, and I believe that one will be a success. And then that brings us to the final two. Um, sorry, a bit of a mess here. I don't want to drop candles as I'm prone <laughs> to doing through the year here. Uh, the final two that I purchased from this collection are returning favorites. Cannot be beat. We'll just do a quick overview of them. Everyone knows and should love them. Uh, we've got the wonderful third year in a row, Marshmallow Fireside. This might be my favorite label of that. Um, a little bit of fire, a fallen tree, marshmallows just starting to burn. It's much better than last year's. Um, kind of a, an off white gray wax. Notes on it, celebrate the changing season with a warm blend of toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, and creamy vanilla, reminiscent of a cozy evening around the bonfire. The loving bonfire this year. But, um, you know, everyone knows this one. It's so sweet with the marshmallow. This is like, you know, it's got to be in their top three fall scents as, you know, they've got to come out with this every year. So sweet from the marshmallow and the vanilla, but such a true, literally a smoldering stick <laughs> or smoldering woods. Um, it's not just the fire, it's not smoky, it's not just a heavy resinous wood. It is like a smoldering, you know, bundle of sticks. It's just top, top, top notch. So everyone knows that one, we won't, we won't stick on that one. But, you know, that's a, a must-have and a, a must, must return. And then another one that I really love, um, people don't love this you know, across the board as much as I do, I don't think. I think a lot of people prefer leaves to this. Um, but Autumn came out 2000, uh, I believe 2010 at this point, maybe 2011. Um, yeah, anyway. The notes on it are a crisp fall fragrance that blends dark pomegranate and red delicious apple with notes of fir balsam and rich cedar wood. I love this candle. It's one of a few of the really great tra transitionals from summer to fall um, because it's like... It's bright, but it's dark. Um, sniffing it, it's it's so refreshing. Um, similar in the way that sweater weather is, when you sniff it, you are it's like it, you're taken outdoors, um, and not in your generic fall way that you know some of the other candles are like oh cinnamons and apple you know cinnamon and apples and spices and woods. It's not in the same way. You get the dark pomegranate that makes it really sweet, but it does bring a true dark, you know, really intense. Because if you, you know, pomegranate flavored things are not the same as eating a pomegranate. If you pop some pomegranate seeds in your mouth, that stuff's almost tart. It really, you know, that is an intense, juicy, deep flavor. So you get that and you mix it in with, what all did they say here again? Um, with, of course, with apple, with a red delicious apple, which is not overly heavy on. But then you throw in cedar wood, which is kind of a sweet wood. And balsam, which I'm a sucker for almost any candle with balsam in it. Um, you know, fresh balsam is one of the best winter candles. And there's just enough of it there to sense that you're on the edge of seasons without it being like a full-on, you know, winter candle. It's very much an early autumn, which even the photo kind of shows you that. It's just as the sun is turning, a bright afternoon when the leaves are changing. Very much a, you know, August-September candle. And, um, yeah, just so fresh and clean and bright, but still heavy enough that it's, you know, not a spring candle. So truly, truly love that one. Must have it if you don't already. Must get it. Um, let's try to reorganize. Sorry for the unprofessional shakiness of this video, but I never claim to be otherwise. So again, uh, from this collection, I believe right now there are 10 cents in it. Um, who knows? They, they could add more. This is, to me, kind of the classic... If Slacken was still around, this would be where they bring out, um, you know, sort of the classic fragrances. Again, also in this, you will find uh, leaves, which I didn't purchase because not my favorite. I think I have one. I really don't need a ton of them. It's been around for so long. It's great, but I don't, it's not a must, must have for me. Um, but as well as uh, Autumn Day is in this, also known as Acorn and Fig. 
Um, Cider Lane, that's a must return. Everyone loved that one last year. Um, and it's actually very, very nice. It's, it's quite sophisticated looking this year. It's a very dark wax. Um, it's again, has the silver leaf on it. And um, I'm not sure. It's a very dark photo, but it seems it's kind of classy as, as far as you know these candles can go in that direction, um, as well as the Harvest Gathering, which I haven't smelled yet. Um, so yeah, a total of 10 candles. Not sure if any are tests. Um, as always, thanks so much for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed the review of this second collection here. Stay tuned for next up, we will have the White Barn Woods collection, which is a big one. There are about 14 cents total in that one. Um, and so again, either check out the description below for a link, or if you're on your computer, you should see a link right in the video to click it to take you right to the next one. So uh, stay tuned.